Today we're just going to work on uh, the prolonged stays with Sasha. When we have in obedience inside, it could be 100%. The moment you start adding other factors to it, it could be compromised. So we're just going to review that with giving her a prolonged stay here at the front door. And we'll work short iterations first and then a further distance. So if you want to place Sasha on that mat, and you, we can start working small distractions with you walking to the cars first. Sasha's pretty advanced with her obedience. For us, we see this as we're placing her. This is very broad for her, but when we can put her on a mat, a placemat, her bed, she can see that image, that picture clearly, and so it's easier for her to stay. So she's good right there. So I just want you to go to pick one of your cars and open it up, act like you're grabbing something and come back to it. So every time we tell Sasha to stay, we are not going to be lazy. We're going to come all the way back to Sasha and reward her, correct? So right now we're working on a prolonged stay with a larger uh, distance. John is walking to the mailbox currently while Sasha is here holding down the front door. New picture for Sasha. She doesn't never seen that person before, especially coming up with a noisy bag. Good payment, good. This next segment of training, we're going to be going over her recalls, okay. as well as getting her familiar with your guys' perimeter. So as we go through this, we're just going to keep inching around the backyard just so she can get familiar with it. And when we go over perimeter searching and longer sends for bite work later, she'll have a, an idea of what your guys' picture of the background looks okay. like. With this, let's go ahead and get, let's just walk Sasha down to the fence line so she knows where this perimeter is. We will let her, give her a free, let her sniff around, and then whoever's, whoever wants to recall first can go ahead and do that. Sure. So right now, Josh is going to get in position. We're going to do a long recall. We're just keeping Sasha distracted right now. When John is ready, he will give the command here. When Sasha starts running towards him. So it's the same concept. There's more distractions out here. There's a basketball court in the middle. There's trees now. So at any time, if Sasha was to divert, go ahead and give her that correction on the e-collar until she gets back on the appropriate path. All right, so let's say you're a door, okay? And I'm a couch. In order for this couch to get inside your house, you have to what? Open that door, correct? Cool. So once that, once Sasha comes in, the couch comes in, she has to pass you before, so you can rotate that couch and then you can close the door. So if she's on you right here and you're trying to get her into a heel or a foose and it's not working, just reset by taking a step back and then redo, redoing it, okay? We 
we all have different personalities. Shasha knows mine, yep. Eric's, and the trainers. Yep. Now she's getting used to you guys. Yes. So, you know, she's going to start understanding the way you guys move, yep. how you guys walk, the, the picture, the sounds, the voice. Yep. And it'll just be muscle memory to her here soon. Awesome. Yeah. When you're teaching the dog, I am the way that turns it off. When she gives maximum effort, you're just teaching her. When you hit that top RPM, the faster you get from A to B, and the B is speed, right. the faster it turns it off. Right. If you work fast now in the beginning, you have some room to play. But if there's no fire under the butt in the beginning of this relationship, she'll end up like Eeyore because you never established a, how fast, a how fast is the answer to the open sesame, get the bag. Right. And so you're doing that from the rip. Later when you're like, I know she is reliable. Now, I'll correct for when she makes mistakes. So right now, we are at the Sequoia's compound, and uh, we are here with Coastline Canine, the owner Eric, and another trainer, Anthony, and we are getting our service dog handed over to us. Well, we get awesome training from these guys, thank goodness, to be able to properly handle this dog and know what it can do, what it can't do, all the attributes, limitations if there is any um, to know what it is so right now obviously I handle the dog my wife handles the dog but Peter my son has to handle the dog too as well like I was explaining to him earlier you have to pay attention to this stuff now because let's say mom and dad aren't home and you need to control this dog one way or the other handle this dog properly at that point you got to know what to do okay and it's got to be like muscle memory type deal it's not something, you know, somebody's going to tell you right on the fly and you're like, oh, and just do it. you got to be able to get the reps in all the way through and through. And this is anything in life you want to be good at. It. you got to get reps in. Whether it's playing baseball, whether it's doing this, shooting basketball, you're, you're going to get reps in, right? So this is what it's about, getting the reps in, making sure that he's comfortable. If we're not here to handle Sasha, right? and Sasha's awesome, so she's pretty easy to handle all the way through and through, but you still got to know what to do. And that's where the professionals come in. And that's why we got some of the best in the country. So that's what it's all about. As we're walking over here right now to see Sasha full in an action. And Sharice just released him on this person that was trying to break into our yard, possibly our home. And this is the defense that you're going to get with her. And uh, it's really key to be able to handle these dogs in and out, whether you tell them to give the command of going to search a property or how to get them off a person. You gotta be under understanding of how to control the dog, which my wife, Sharice, is doing excellent at. I know my son's gonna do good at it. I got, I'm pretty confident what I'm doing here with her. It's awesome to see. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him. Get into it, Peter. Get into it, Peter. Get him, Peter. Go, Clipper. 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 Go, Clipper. She's not going to hurt you, Pete. She's not going to hurt you. Clipper. 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 Now you got control. Now you just keep telling her. Keep telling her. Don't, don't, don't choke her. Let her go. Get her. Get her. Pat her belly. Pat her belly, Peter. Pat her belly right here. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Get it, Sasha. Get it. Yeah. Keep going, Pete. This guy's trying to hurt us, dude. He's trying to hurt us. What are you going to do? You're going to let him get up? Punch him in the chest, Pete. Punch him in the chest. Punch him. No, you just punched like I did last night. Come on, get him, Pete. He can't feel anything in that suit, Pete. Come on. Go, hurry up. That guy can shoot you, grab you, touch you. Heal and take her away, Pete. Take her away. Go, go. So right now we're inside the Titan Escalade, right? And we're doing scenarios with Sasha. So we're detouring um, people that are coming up to the vehicle or possibly trying to get into the vehicle or harm us or just bothering us. I don't know if you ever stopped and like somebody's tried to like wash your windshield. Get money from you. Or I mean the money thing or just be really, really rude about things, you know? Maybe knock on your window. I mean, these are real things that have happened out there. So at that point, like Sasha's going to detour people from coming into the vehicle or bothering us when we're on the road when we shouldn't be bothered at all. They're getting our personal space. 
Okay, bro. Don't get out. Go, go. Don't come over here, man. I'll tell you what, man. If you don't step away from the vehicle, I'm going to launch my dog at you. I'm telling you, dude. You're going to get it. Well, come on over here and let's see what happens then. Man, come on over. Come on over. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, come on. Come on over here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not getting out of the car. I'm not getting out of the car. This is my property. This is an extension of my property. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him, Sasha. Watch him. Watch him. See what happens. Watch him. Watch him, Sasha. Watch him. Yeah, get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him. That's a good girl. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Out. 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 So we're going to a public place, and uh, Sasha is going to protect us out in a public manner. So if somebody comes up to us and we're out with a family, and let's say they want something from us, at that point, we're going to have Sasha to tour them. And if we need to, she's going to protect us. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Get him. 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 Here. 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 Foos. 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 We're here in this plaza. We were just walking with it as a family, getting a smoothie or something to eat. And we're walking by, and the scenario is somebody's in the back of us, and we don't know where these people are placed, right? So. Eric's a bag wrestling trainer, and at that point, he's like a inconspicuous person just sitting on the side, which you wouldn't even see if you walked by him, unless you look back in your peripheral. So at that point, this is supposed to be a scenario where they probably scouted us, they see the bling bling, and they're going to you know, position themselves where they're going to have a success rate at getting that bling bling. But at that point, when he went to go grab me, you know, I said one word to make sure she was going to start detouring him, and he goes to try to snatch my watch. Well, she automatically says, hey, listen, I need to go into this mode to, to defend. And at that point, she goes after him and starts trying to tear him up. At that point, I learned a valuable lesson. When you do send her, don't be close to the person because they can hurt you. And what Eric did was he, like, barely kicked my leg to let me know, like, hey, listen, you're within striking range of me, and I can still hurt you. So you need to get away. So when you, you know, have the dog going after, you need to back away. At that point, you get to a safe distance, call her and call her to you. So she did that really awesome. So as soon as I seen, as soon as I got the budge, I knew it right away and I started backing off. And at that point, I got to a safe distance, made sure the family's at a safe distance. And then I recalled the dog back to me. So I want you guys to stay tuned because there's a lot more that Sasha can be able to do and a lot more I'm going to learn with her, bond with her. And uh, we're going to see her work to the ultimate optimal level, just like a true Titan soldier.